Suddenly, he's Seymour. Darren Chris has stepped into the hit revival of the show Little Shop of Horrors, and we are here at the West Side Theater to dish the dirt with him in the clam shop. Suddenly, Seymour. Darren, we know that you're no stranger to the stage. You've played many iconic roles in musical theater. Was Seymour always on your list? I'm gonna be honest, it, it, it wasn't. I always, I guess, wanted to be part of Little Shop, and I think above all else, the gentleman who's the sort of main architect of the show, Howard Ashman, is somebody that I've admired so intensely my whole life that I think being a part of anything that he's been a part of is, is, is probably the most special thing about this. But I never, I never really thought I'd be in a position to be Seymour. I honestly always saw myself more as a, an Orin. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> that is a fun role. Now, obviously this has been a successful off-Broadway show for quite a few years. We've had a lot of great actors on this stage. What were you gonna bring to make Seymour different? I don't know. I, I I can never really answer that question. I think only an audience can answer that. So I'm Seymour number nine, at least for wow. this this run. With theater, you can have this really amazing, evergreen, pun intended, text that can just be elevated by so many different people in so many different ways. And everybody has their own superpower, you know? So I, whatever I have is my thing. Whether you like it or not, hey, that's, that's your bag. But uh, you're going to like it. Maybe. The show's good. Uh, Evan's great. So Speaking of Evan, I hear you guys are good friends. What is your favorite thing about working with her in the show? Her talent. <laughs> <laughs> she grew up in the theater. She's done so much singing on stage in Los Angeles and in New York. This is already a special experience, but to be with her, somebody that I respect profoundly, uh, is, is what makes this extra special. Have you worked with puppets before? A little bit, yeah. I mean, um, I, have, uh, I have a theater company um, that I started many years ago with my friends from the University of Michigan. We had a show called uh, Starship that had a bunch of puppet aliens. But, you know, I'm careful with who I say that to because there are, my friends are like professionals that are going to roll their eyes when I say that. But the puppeteers in the show are like bar none, some of the greatest puppeteers I've ever worked with. It is amazing at the end to see how many people come out and all of the people behind the scenes that are mm -hmm. making that magic happen too is yeah. special. Yeah, it's a big, it's a, you know, it takes a lot to make a man-eating plant look like a real man-eating plant. What are you hoping that audiences take away from seeing you in the show? I hope that they have a good time. Um, it's very simple, you know, my, my attitude towards the performing arts is it's a service industry, uh, it's a public service, you know, it's my responsibility to make audiences feel a little closer to their fellow human beings, yeah. but hopefully they just think I did okay. That's, that's like a win for me. I think they'll <laughs> think that you did more than okay and have an amazing time. Thank you so that's much. That's the goal, baby. Tell your friends. Little Shop of Horrors, West Side Theater. Eight shows a week. <laughs>